Hey YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back on the series Learn Service Now from Zero till Advanced in English. So in the last video, we have seen how we brand our service now instance. We change the logo of our service now instance. We change our instance name. We change the color and header and footer. Now in this today's session, we will see what exactly we will do in service now. But before starting it, if you are very new to this channel, please subscribe it and like it and do share with your colleagues who really need help in ServiceNow learning. And the previous video links will be available on the i button as well as in the description part. So don't get delayed. Let's get started. So if I explain you what is there in ServiceNow. So guys, remember in ServiceNow, everything is the game of tables. If you know how to manipulate the tables, if you know how to play with tables, then you can do anything in ServiceNow. If I talk about tables, what that it means? We have a table. In the table, we have what? Row and column. And data inside the row. For example, assume table is an Excel sheet. So let me present the Excel sheet in front of you. Yeah. So let's say this is my Excel sheet where we have column number A, column number B, and column number C. Column number A is having one row, similarly B and C. Then we have first row, second row, and data inside the row. So what is this? In service now also, we have a column and we have a row and data inside the row. So it means that everything in service now is stable and we have to play with tables. So let's go back. Over in here, in, on the filter navigator or on the application navigator, we will search any available module or application. For example, I am selecting incident. And what is the meaning of incident? We'll talk about this when we read about incident in details. So as of now, just I am typing it what is incident to show you how the incident table look like. So if I type incident, you will notice we have a lot of Modules over here, self-service, watched incident. These are nothing but table. If I open anything, it will return me a view that is similar to what we have on the Excel sheet. For example, let me open this incident. I'm opening in front of you. Boom. You noticed we have number, we have short description, we have caller, priority, updated. These are called columns, guys. These are called columns. And we are having these rows. These rows are called, these are called rows and data inside the row. That's it. This is Excel sheet. If I, if you put this side by side, isn't it Excel sheet? Number, sh short description, caller, correct? Now we have to play with this. So this view, whatever you are seeing, when you open any table, the first view is coming in front of your screen is your list view. The reason is why it's called list view, because we have list of all the items available in my screen. You can see I have 76 data. Correct. Now I can view all those 76 in one go. That is called your list view. You are getting a list of all the items right up in front of your screen. And there is another view called form view. Form view is what? When you open any particular record. For example, if I open this, I will be seeing that view is called form view. In form view, you will have a particular data record. So this is my data, INC001, INC sorry, 501. And we have a data about this. All the details about this is present on this incident. So this view is called form view and this is called list view. Before starting with anything in service now, we need to understand what this table look like. That's why I started and introduced this topic to you. That is the list view and the form view. So if you noticed on the URL, something is written incident underscore list. What is this? Guys, this is the one which I was talking. This is called list view. If you see something like this underscore list means you are on the list of it. If you open this record and you will see something like this, but we don't have list over here. We have only dot duo. It means that we are on the form. So remember this concept because this will be keep on uh, adding to your resumes when you are creating uh, your resumes. You will obviously going to use this list view and form view. I have worked on that. So obviously no issues. This is called list view. This is called form view. Let's get started. Now on the list view, you will notice we have one funnel icon. And what is this funnel icon? Basically, these funnel icons are called filter. You can filter out the content from the available details present on your screen. For example, I am your manager. I'm asking you, hey Raj, hey Ravi, 
just do one thing for me. I want to see only priority critical in front of my screen. Obviously, I have to filter out that content. Similarly, in Excel sheet, if I go and uh, if I do one more column called priority and I put one and I will duplicate this, for example, to save our time. Okay, and I'll make it two and let like make it one. So if I ask you just shortlist only those incident which are of priority one, what you will do, you will select that column and you will come to this option called filter and you will add a filter. There you go. If you click here, click on one and now it will display you to record. So first step what we did, we selected the column and then we'll apply the filter. Similarly on this service now instance, we will select the column and how to select the column first. You have to click on the funnel icon, choose the column priority and choose what value you want. So this is called priority is operations is critical. And once you select this, you have to run the filter. So once you run it, there you go. You have all the priority details and we have only 20 cents, 27 tickets. Similarly, for example, you need priority also and you need something else also. You can keep on adding here in the filter condition. So we have and and odd. Now, let me zoom in. You will notice we have one less than equal to sign over here. What is the meaning of this? Basically, in service now, these are called breadcrumb. This word B R E A D C R U M B. What is this breadcrumb means? So. I guess most of you guys have seen white bread and people are using that white bread. Let me show you. Yeah. Bread from okay. not this. I want a bread picture. So let me type bread. Okay. So yeah, the bread in front of you. So most of the people might have uh, seen this white bread and you have a brown layer outside that this brown layer is if you ask many people don't eat this brown layer obviously they will remove this brown layer and they will eat this white part so this is called that brown layer if you click on this brown layer the previous condition will be removed so you will remove the outer layer of the bread and you will eat it so this is called breadcrumb where you will be removing the previous condition and then you will be using it. So if I click here, this previous condition will be removed. So if I again add it, so I will I will select this option called priority again. Critical, run it. There you go. You have a, another less than equal to. If you click here, it will remove the filter. So this is called applying filter to any of the list available in front of your screen. That's all for today. We'll come back with the new sessions where we have part two of it, basically where we will see how to configure the list. So how to apply a filter on the list is very easy. You have to come to this funnel icon, click on this, apply the filter to the list view. And there you go. You will get all the details about the list. But one suggestion, from my side, keep in your head, you have to come and see this URL first. Because on this URL only, you will be finding out whether it is a list view or the form view. And basically, this is nothing but the table name. This is the table name, not this one. This is just a table of the table. And this is the name of the table. If I tell about label, label means you have a packet of food. Let's say people used to eat some biscuits. We have a wrapper. But inside that wrapper, we have different material. Like we have a original biscuit. Similarly, the wrapper is the label. And inside the label, we have the table name. So this is the table name, not this. This is just a label of the table. So remember to open any table, you have to use this table name. Yeah. So that's all for today. We'll bring the part two of it very soon. Thank you so much, guys. If you really like this video, do share.